station on Space to Ground. How do fires spread in space? Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Gary Jordan. Astronauts and flight controllers took the trash out in style this week on the International Space Station with the successful release of Orbital ATK's Cygnus cargo vehicle. After ground controllers detached Cygnus from the station and maneuvered it into position with the space station's robotic arm, NASA astronaut Tim Copra sent the command to release Cygnus and say farewell to over 4,000 pounds of trash on board. It's now on an eight-day flight around the Earth until its fiery end as it burns up in the atmosphere over the South Pacific next week. Re-entry won't be the only thing that's hot about Cygnus. It's currently carrying a few science experiments to conduct before its demise, one of which includes studying fire in space. Sapphire, the spacecraft fire experiment, was conducted shortly after Cygnus was released earlier this week. It ignited a one foot by three foot sample of a cotton and fiberglass blend in an enclosed facility within Cygnus, making it the largest fire experiment conducted in space to date. The goal is to study how fire propagates in space, how large it can get and how fast it can spread to improve spacecraft design. Head to Twitter and follow NASA Glenn for updates on the progress of Sapphire. This week's question comes from Space VR, who wants to know if there are any virtual reality headsets that were used on the station. A fitting question for your name. Indeed, there were. NASA recently tested the HoloLens virtual reality headset on board the space station that arrived last December. The headsets were used for an experiment called Sidekick that tested the use of virtual reality in support of the astronauts' day-to-day -day activities, conducting experiments and performing maintenance on some of the systems aboard. The technology created a display of procedures and visual aids, and even connected the astronauts to researchers on the ground via video chat to communicate with them through the virtual reality environment. We'll leave you with a video release this week from British astronaut Tim Peake that will take you for quite a spin. So at the moment, oh, I'm just starting to feel the G's of the acceleration there, yeah. So I was going to, yeah, that's really fast. Is that, does that look fast from the yes. outside? That's really fast from my point of view. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.